How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. This is Rosemary Nolly Knight, and this is the Deliberate Life Stream. A stream designed to motivate you, to inspire you, to give you some crazy amazing tips to live a prosperous life in all areas of life. It is for the spirit-led, the spirit... Ooh, what have I done here? (laughs) Those who know that they're born and called for something more, born to prosper in all ways, also to make a difference. They know there is something that they are here to bring onto this planet, and they're done with waiting. (laughs) They're done with living a smaller life. They are done with pretending to be less than who they are. If that is you, you are in the right place. Woohoo! Okay, so let us talk. You have been lied to. You have been lied to. You know what? In some ways, I'm very much about everybody doing the work. Absolutely, the work must be done. If we are going to make any kind of a difference... The work must be done. Absolutely, no doubt about it, for sure. However, (laughs) it is not enough to work hard. I don't know many people, and in fact, hopefully I don't even attract very many people who are not willing to do the work. You are working hard, doing whatever it is that you're doing right now. You're working hard you know, trying to make ends meet, trying to, I don't know, you're doing your thing, whatever it is that you do, you are not shy. You're not shy of work, okay? But we all know someone, and you might be that someone. (laughs) We all know someone who's working their socks off right now, and who, for in fact, you might know someone who's been doing that for years, and they're just resigned to their life of working hard, working hard. And still never quite making it. Still never quite doing, uh, living the life that they desire. Still never quite living out the call on their life. No, not at all. They work hard. And you and I, we are hard workers. We're not shy of hard work. The question is this. What are you working on? What are you working on and why are you working on it? Because if it is not work that, you can, that is taking you towards your vision, do you know what your vision is anymore? If it's not work that is taking you towards your vision, but it is work that is keeping you in the life that right now you already know you don't like very much, <laughs> and you're not quite doing anything else except hopefully waiting for a, I don't know, what are you waiting for? A word from the Lord, maybe, <laughs> before you move and do something different. That work alone is not going to get you to the prosperous life that you desire, the deliberate life of abundance, of fulfillment, of freedom. It won't get you there. You have been lied to. Like, like me, I was brought up to believe that if I get enough of an education, and you know what, I could still be chasing papers to this day. I know lots of friends who are. They're always going after one degree or the other degree or some kind of postgraduate something. And all hoping, hoping, hoping to finally live out the call on their life, whatever it is for them, for each person. And so they're working hard to fulfill the rules as they were told them. And still, they never quite get there. People working all kinds of different things people are doing. So when I speak to you guys, I know that you are not shy of hard work. You are people who have overcome a heck of a lot to get to where you are. And sometimes that's with a blessing, blessing and a curse. A blessing because, yeah, you're not shy of hard work. Once you're pointed in the right direction and you see why you need to do it, you will do the right stuff and get where you need to go. You will get the prosperity in all areas of your life for sure. A curse because you are so stuck in thinking that you have to keep obeying these rules, these, these other people's plans and opinions for you. You're so stuck in other people's approval of you, of fake accolades that just keep you stuck in place. Everybody patting you on the back because you're doing what they want you to do. You're working hard at it, <laughs> but you're not getting anywhere near where you want to go. 
But you are working hard, though. You are working hard. A curse as well, because you don't realize that it takes more than just work. It takes going deep inside. It takes trusting your intuition, trusting spirit within you, getting in contact and staying in contact. I know lots of spiritual hard workers. We, I was one of those that would look at every, all the spiritual people saying, I'm waiting on the Lord, and I would judge them as weak, stupid. <laughs> I didn't say this stuff out loud, but it was kind of what I was thinking. Look at these people, weak. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lie, there's still some spiritual people I look at and I think, yeah, you're just kind of using your spirituality as a reason not to do anything. And I didn't want to be associated with that kind of spirituality. No, 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 no way. No way. I knew there was no spiritual magic bullet. I've always known that. However, I haven't always known how to really connect with spirit, with God inside of me and follow the prompting. Why? One, because I didn't think it was practical and I didn't think that he wanted what I wanted for me. I wanted to be wealthy. I wanted to have, you know, have a prosperous life in all areas. And I was scared to death that actually he didn't want that for me, that I was greedy, that I should not actually even want or think about such stuff. And so I didn't want to draw close. I didn't really, I, I kind of knew how to hear, but I, I didn't really want to hear because I was convinced that I knew that he didn't want good stuff for me. I said all the words. I said all the words. I sang all the songs. attended all the services, trying to make sure I didn't go to hell. Basically. <laughs> really? But I didn't believe that actually I needed the connection and the wisdom to live my best life. So I just worked hard, worked very hard, did whatever I could to come out of uni, go in again, get some more pieces of paper, all trying to be validated as worthy of success. What is your version of that crazy journey? What is it that you're doing trying to be validated, trying to work your socks off to get to the prosperous vision, visionary life that you dream of. And yet, years go by and you're still not there. Are you ready yet to admit that maybe you're on the wrong path? On the wrong path. The life we desire is an uncommon life. A life of uncommon success in all areas, okay? I don't believe in prosperity just in the form of money. You can have lots of money and be the most depressed person on the planet. What we want is to live a life of calling and make money as a result of living that life of calling where we're serving the people that we're called to serve, making a difference as we just be our best selves, as we live in relationships that feel good. We have children that we have great relationships with. We, we enjoy life, not just working for money. That's not what we do here. That's not the deliberate life. We design a life that makes us happy all the time. That is what it's, this is about. And you cannot get there just by working hard. How much more hard can you work? Let's be honest, one of the reasons why people don't go after the life they desire is because they're worried that they're going to have to fit in more work. What if you don't have to fit in more work? What you need to do is actually go deeper inside, figure out what spirit within you is saying and cut out the 80% of the nonsense that you're doing that is keeping you from your destiny. What if actually you get to work a little less because... Now you're doing only the stuff that makes a difference. What if your work doesn't feel like work because you're doing only stuff that makes you feel amazing? Stuff that you would be doing for free right now. Everything that I do right now is stuff that I would be doing 
in my spare time while doing my pharmacist work 40, 50, 60 hours a week. Then I'd be writing in my spare time. I'd be, you know, speaking in my spare time, trying to fit in the things that I absolutely love doing in my spare time. But now it's actually my whole life. <laughs> Instead, I cut out the crazy stuff that I didn't want to be doing and work hard on the stuff that doesn't feel like I'm working hard. That can be your life. You've been lied to. It's not enough to work hard. Not unless you're working towards the call on your life. We are spiritual people. We know that we're called to something more. Do not settle. Do not buy into the nonsense. Do not just go on the broad path and stay there thinking that this is your only option. It is not. There are options for you, but you have to dare to get off the broad path, get on the narrow path, in order for you to live a life of uncommon success. You are born for more. You're born for greatness, honey. You cannot look at people who have, who've chosen to live average lives and, and, and then find your, your inspiration in there. Of course not. You've been lied to, honey. They don't even know they're lying to you. <laughs> That's the problem. They don't even know they're lying to you. They're just doing the best they know how to do. And I'm saying to you, honey, you know what I'm saying because it resonates in your heart. That you are born for something more. And I ask you to stop giving away your life to a lie. Stop giving your life away to a lie. You were born for something more. The deliberate life path calls you. <laughs> it's like when Jesus said something along the lines of, bring your burdens to me and I'll make your yoke a lot easier. This will. This will. You need to work on letting go of some of those crazy ideas that were planted in you from birth. You need to transition to a place of wholeness, a place of prosperity. First and foremost, in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit, you need to remember who you are really, truly born to be. And then, then, you move to the next level. Or at the same time, as you're learning prosperity again, remembering who you are, you are also taking the right kind of action, doing the right kind of work that will lead you in the direction that you want to go in. The direction you are born for. You kind of know what I'm saying. You can feel the resonance in your heart saying, oh my gosh, I've kind of known that something is not quite right. Are you ready, though, to do something about it? That is the question. Are you ready to do something about it? Because otherwise, you'd be trapped here working hard, working hard, wondering why you're not getting anywhere, and getting more and more jaded, getting more and more like, oh, really? When am I going to get there? Maybe I just need to give it up. Maybe it's just not real. Maybe it's just a figment of my imagination and I'm deluded for thinking that I am born for something more. You're not. But it's easy to get to that place of thinking that you are. Because you're working so hard. I get it. Honey, as the picture says right there, you are created in the likeness of the divine. You will always seek to return to your true nature, so why not just surrender to it right now? Okay, if this has resonated with you, which if you're still listening, I know it has, then go and get my free book. I've done a written version for you. I even did an audio version for you, so no excuses. You can listen to this on the way to work or whatever it is that you're doing. It's called Pray, Affirm, Receive. You can get it at rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash book gift. I'm going to type it in right here. It's so rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash book gift I exhort you to stop believing the lie and instead get on the right path for you it is your time to prosper you ready if you're that determined spiritual person you know you're born to prosper in all areas go get the book until the next time my honeys much amazing love <laughs>